compensation. Um, I was watching a, a video right now about a report, a speech, I think so. Um, it was like yeah. a news report? No, yeah, that's not right. Okay. Um, use, go ahead and use the Google chat. So there's a button on the left, it says chat. Okay. Uh, Reported speech. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, I was watching a video right now about a report a speech. Okay. Reported speech. Um, Reported speech. Yeah. yeah. Reported speech. Uh, I'm learning in this so uh, fast. <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, so. I I finished training for a uh, for one year, teacher. Um, oh wow. Uh, one year and four months. Months. Yeah. 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 One year and four months. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Hey, Alberto. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Good. Yeah. We we're talking about things things that we do on our day off. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so one I got, felt the got a head start on his English. He got to he did some videos uh, about reported speech. Ah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm prepared. <laughs> Good. And um, Alberto, what did you do after class yesterday? Uh, the class yesterday. Uh, well, I was uh, I was in San Sebastián, in another town. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, about uh, 100 kilometers far. Okay. Wow. Did you drive? Uh, yeah. Sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, and with my wife and. Uh, I was to uh, Sebastian. I we we passed for uh, uh, for another by by another uh, city before uh, by Getaria, Getaria. Uh, to to watch a museum a museum about uh, custom. Okay, so so you went to a museum. Yeah. Okay. When you um, when you go to a museum, you usually don't say you watch a museum, uh, but you go to a museum to to look at the things inside. Uh, the verb is. Uh, you can say um, I looked at things inside a museum, uh -huh. but um, you don't watch the museum. You can watch TV, but a museum maybe you um, let's see. I'm I'm typing this into Google Chat. Um, the, the verb is look at. Look at a museum. Yeah. Uh, you can actually uh, the best one is um, visit a museum, uh -huh. and then you go inside and you look at the exhibits. That's um, that exhibit is the the things that they put in the museum. So maybe you have an art museum and they have an exhibit over Picasso, stuff like that. Yeah. So you visit, you go inside, and then you look at the things inside. Uh -huh. well, yeah, good. I the uh, Yeah, good, good. All right, well, um, I would like to watch a few short video clips together, um, and I also want to be able to um, pause them and be able to talk about them. Maybe I can stop the video and we can all see what's going on with it, and then we can talk about it together. So what I would like to do is have everybody join the YouTube app. Does everybody have a YouTube app on the left side of the screen? I don't know. Okay, there's a, they, there's yeah. a, yeah, with all the buttons, there's a chat button, screen share, and then if you keep going down, you see YouTube. One, do you see a YouTube button? Yeah. Yes. Okay, maybe Juan's having a connection problem. Uh, Juan, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, teacher, I'm back again. 
Okay, good. Um, look on the left side of your screen, and you yeah. see a button that says YouTube. Uh, I get it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go ahead and join the YouTube app, and then we can watch uh, some videos together. And then that, with that, I can stop the video, and we can talk about the video before it's done playing. Yeah, okay, everyone's on YouTube? Good. Yeah. Good, good. All right, and so we're all on the YouTube, and we see a video. It says a Bug's Life trailer. Does everyone see that? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So um, I'm going to play this, and as it goes, I'm Um, let's have, um, I'll just press play, and then you don't have to press play. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, and then, then, uh, we all watch the same thing at the same time. Yes. I forgot to tell you that, so <laughs> I'll just put, I will press play, and then, um, I will also pause the video when it's time to talk about it. Okay? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, Juan, you can't see anything? I can't see anything, teacher. Okay, Alberto, is it working for you? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, Juan, I'm going to give you the link to this. Okay, okay. So that you can open it in your browser. I got to get it, teacher. Yeah. So this, let me just go into the chat. And here's the link to it. Um, let's actually, because, sorry, hang on. Okay. Um, so I hear the video playing in the background. Um, Juan, do you have headphones on? Juan, can you hear me? Alberto, do you hear the video going on in the background too? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I think maybe Juan is watching it, but he doesn't have headphones. Uh, Juan, do you have headphones on? Okay. Um, I think maybe he's got it playing, but then something's wrong with the sound on his chat now. So, um, Alberto, go ahead and click on the link and watch it on your own, and then we'll all come back together after everyone has watched it. We'll do that.
Alberto, I know you've seen it now. Uh, let's see if maybe Juan can hear us at this time. Juan, can you hear us now? Yeah, teacher. Okay. But I I have problem with my connection right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that will make um, watching videos very difficult. Um, we will um, we'll try uh, we'll try again with the next video with you. Yeah. Um, but we, I'm sure you saw probably part of the video, right? Did you see part of the video? No, 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 anything, teacher. Okay, okay. All right. Um, well, Alberto and I will talk about the video, and then when we do the next video, I want you to try again, and we'll see if your connection works that time. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Um, Alberto, just a few questions about the video that we just watched. Um, in this video, what is the setting of the video? Is it in a city or is it somewhere else? Well, I think uh, they are in, in the countryside, firstly, firstly. Yeah, so they're in the countryside in uh, most of the video. It looks like yeah. it's outdoors. Um, there is a part of the video where the setting changes. Uh, well, and uh, the 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 bugs, uh, the ants. I, I think uh, they are they are ants. Uh, the, the ants uh, are going to the to the city for for asking for for help. Yes, yes, exactly. The one of the ants goes to the city to ask for help. Yeah. And why do the ants need help? Because there are. Uh, uh, some animals bigger than than them. Uh, I don't know what type of animals they are. They, they are the those big bugs that come in are called grasshoppers. Oh, ah, they're grasshoppers. Grasshoppers, yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I know what a grasshopper is, but <laughs> I can't. It's hard to tell when you have a a cartoon. Chris. Yeah, it's a cartoon, and yeah. <laughs> and I can I can notice uh, that the, that they are grasshoppers. Yeah, then the the grasshoppers uh, well invited uh, his part of the countryside, and uh, they have problems about them. Yeah, they have problems with the grasshoppers. Yeah, um, you said the grasshoppers are very aggressive. That's a good word. For yeah, the, very, they very are very good aggressive. word to describe yeah. the grasshoppers. Uh huh. Good. Hello, Carmen. Okay. Uh, what else can you talk about with the the ants and the grasshoppers? They have a problem. Yeah, but uh, the the ants uh, went to to the to the city and uh, they they were working uh, in a circus or something like that. Yeah, or they went to the city. Or... Uh huh. We and they saw a circus. Yeah, and um, there are a lot of different kinds of bugs in the circus, right? Yeah. And what? Why do? Why are they talking to the bugs that are in the circus? Uh, I don't know, but they, they are uh, seen about uh, two flies that they, they are they are in the public, and uh, and they they can see they can see uh, the ants, but uh, multiplied, but well, when with the fly size. Uh, uh, you can see the the ant uh, many times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, the they take the they go to the circus and they see these other kinds of bugs at the circus. Um, they actually want those kinds of bugs to help them to um, to fight the grasshoppers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 It's a uh, a big one. Uh, like an yeah, there's like who walks, so, uh, like, a, who a walks like an helicopter or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a Good. Yeah. Um, Carmen, welcome to uh, class. Okay, I'm so sorry for being late. Can I just join in? Yes, you can. We uh, we just watched one video, um, but I have more. So okay, um, thank we'll you. just finish up talking about this uh, this one video here. Okay, so sorry for that. Yeah, yeah. And um, Alberto, can you tell me um, 
Can you describe the different bugs that they found in the surface? Uh, it's a I caterpillar. Know, the, it's a big worm. The caterpillar. There, there are two flies. There are. Uh -huh. I can't remember, but the what the ant or the ants. Uh, yeah, there were ants. I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was another bug that was brown, and it was really skinny, and um, we call that a stick bug, in English. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. So this is a story about. Uh, this was a trailer for the movie Bugs Life, and mm -hmm. we talked about how it's a, it, the setting is usually outside, out of doors, and it's about a colony or a group of ants. Colony of ants. I'm writing all these in the Google chat. Also, colony of ants. They have a problem with the grasshoppers. The grasshoppers keep wanting to um, to take all their food. So the ants go to the city, and they find some circus bugs that are much bigger than them to come and fight the grasshoppers. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. Um, so this is uh, this is a new video for everybody. This video does not have any words in it. So I want you to think about what is happening in the video. I'm going to put the video link into the group chat, into the Google chat. Uh, we will not use the YouTube app for this one, so you can just open the link in your browser and watch it. Uh, when is, you're that, done. is that the rice omelette? Yes. Okay, then. Yes. And then when you're done watching it, in the chat box, just write, I'm finished, or I'm done, or I'm ready. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, everybody okay. watch the video. When you're done, let me know in the chat box. Okay, then. Yeah, I finish. Yes, I'm done. Okay, everyone's done? All right, this is a movie clip from a movie called Tempopo. It's a Japanese movie. 
and this is a, a good clip to watch because you have to just watch what the people are doing in the video. Um, there are three people in the video who can name one person that's in the video or just describe one person in the, in the video. No. <laughs> there was what? Well, the, there is a, a policeman. There was yes. a policeman uh, mm -hmm. who is uh, go around. Uh, I don't know if if it's uh, if it's a boat or a, a, a big ship and uh, or a house. And then uh, he's uh, going around. Uh, Looking for any people there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's they're in some kind of building. We're not sure. It could be a boat or it could be a house, but we know that there is some man who looks very official, like a policeman maybe, mm -hmm. and he's checking um, that he's he's checking the building. Yeah. He's yeah. He's he's going around. He's he's walking up and down. Um, he has a flashlight also. Yes. Uh huh. Carmen, can you name another person in the video? Yes, there's the vagabond. And yes. Uh, a, a little, yeah, and a child. And uh -huh. um, I, 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 as, as Alberto said, I'm not quite sure if it's a, it's a shape or it's a building. I'm not quite sure about it. But the thing is, um, he. He, the vagabond makes his uh, way in because he knows uh, where the key is kept inside the boot. So he opens the door and he cooks uh, a, a rice omelette for the, for, the, for the child. Good, good. Um, and can you tell us what a vagabond is? Uh, an errant person who doesn't have a, a house to live in. For, for instance, he lives on, on the street. Yeah, yeah. So maybe someone he who doesn't know. He wanders about. He doesn't have a fixed, uh, fixed address. Yes, good. And um, so we have a vagabond and a little boy. They um, they come into this um, this building. They know where their a key is. But do they act? Are they acting like they should be there? Are they supposed to be there? I, I'm not quite sure about. It. I think he just uh, he he just. Guess that the key is inside the boot. I don't know. If he do, he really knew that. I mean, he just uh, he tries to op because he had, he tries to open the look to unlock the door and he doesn't he doesn't open it. So he I think he guessed that perhaps the key is inside the boot. Yeah, yeah. I but um, I think it's interesting that in this video they show a policeman also. So that kind of makes me think that maybe they are not supposed to be there. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> You see, also because when they're cooking, they're they're cooking the omelet. They're in a hurry. They're doing it very, very fast. Yeah. No, but I I think uh, they they didn't notice, didn't realize that the policeman was there. Yeah, maybe but they no, didn't because, know because they they didn't see them, uh, him. Uh, yeah, but, but I, I think know. they. I think they did it. They were doing something that was not allowed because it, yeah, uh, yeah, it, yeah, because everything was done in, in a rush. So it, he just cooked the uh, family really, really, really fast. So they just, uh, I mean, they knew there was something wrong in there. They, they shouldn't be in. Yeah, yeah. I think probably if it was okay for them to be in there, they would have eaten the omelet. In the kitchen, yeah. It. yeah, but they Absolutely. they took it on the plate and then they mm -hmm. ran out right before the policeman came in. That's it. Yeah, okay, so they good. So there's a man and uh, he's a kind of a vagabond. He another word for that um, for vagabond, someone who doesn't have a home, um, is tramp. That's mm -hmm. kind of an old word in English. So we have a tramp and a boy. Uh, we're not quite sure why they're together, but they come into the kitchen. They're in a hurry. They very, very quickly make an omelet. Uh, what, what kind of, what steps do they take to make the omelet? What is the order? Uh, firstly, he cooked uh, the the rice. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, he put some tomato, uh, and uh, later uh, he he put the the eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, Carmen, did he put the rice and the eggs in the same pan, or did he do it in a different order? No, in the same pan. Hi, Andrew. Just one thing. How do you say, um, for instance, when you've got the eggs and you want just to you say crack them? Yes. Okay. Crack. Yes. Yes. Crack. You crack okay. the eggs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can either um, crack. I usually, if I have a, a bowl or something, I just crack it mm. on the side of the bowl. Or oh. I will. Um, you can also just crack it on on the kitchen counter. You can do mm -hmm. that too. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And to, so, yeah. And to move it, uh, to move uh, the eggs. <laughs> so like, stir. Yeah. Yeah. Stir it. Yeah, so he cracks the eggs and then he stirs them around. He has um, yes. Do you do you do you guys remember the thing that he used to stir in the video? No, I can't remember. No. This this uh, movie is Japanese and he used chopsticks to stir oh, the eggs. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Chopsticks. Which I have never stirred eggs with chopsticks, but I think that's probably a very good tool to use to do that. And how do you call an, uh, any tool just to stir things so when you're when you're cooking? That that tool has a, a name of for you. How do you call it? Um, the verb. No, the noun. I mean to stir things. Uh huh. I don't know if there's an, a name for that. So, I mean, um, I mean, I mean the tool. That you just to stir things into cooking. Yeah, you can um, you can stir things into something else, and then you can also um, you can also whisk things. Um, no, but but I but I mean the tool. I mean what what? Oh, I the mean, tool. What, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't you, know if there's a name for that. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of different tools you can use to stir things. Um, you can stir things with a spoon, or mm -hmm. you can stir things with um, we call them a a mixer. It's like a, a machine oh, okay. that's that spins around, and there's also um, some people s stir things up with a food processor. Okay. That's a, another machine. But usually, if you're stirring things, you'll use a spoon mm -hmm. or chopsticks in this video, or a whisk. Also, a spoon with a fork. Yeah, you can stir yeah, with, with a fork, fork too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you don't cook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't usually cook. <laughs> no, I like that you can stir things with a spoon. It's true. I mean, for instance, you got liquid. I mean, just to move it, you use a, a, a spoon or a fork. Perhaps uh, cream, but not a uh, no. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we know. have we have a new student in our class. We have um, Nihon. Did I say your name correctly? Almost. Almost. How do you say your name? Nihon with the Nihon. H sound, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, how I how I pronounce your name, Andrea. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. nice, nice to meet to you, meet. Andrea. Yes, welcome to class. Thank uh, you. We're just finishing up talking about a, a video clip that we watched. Um, we watched a video from a movie called Tampopo. It's Japanese. Mm -hmm. And they were making a egg and rice omelet. So we're just talking about different words that you use for cooking. Mm, I see. Keep going. Okay. Please. All right. Um, does anyone have anything else to add about this video? I think that the the homeless uh, was colored. Uh, was his face colored? He's uh, he he seemed to be uh, a black uh, person. No? Yes. It, they they had um he was wearing. <laughs> But I think I think the, he he was uh, a white person, but but color. Yeah, like, yeah, he was like the the ancient actors in, in films. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of times in films, um, in this case, the actor was probably Japanese because this is a Japanese film, um, and they wanted to to make his skin look like a different color, so they put dark makeup over his whole face. Or or, or he was a little bit dirty. <laughs> That's possible yeah. too. Yeah, that's possible too. Uh, sometimes, with in theater and film, if you're trying to make someone look like 
they are a darker race, like their skin is darker than they really are, then um, you call that blackface. So this could either be blackface or it could just be them trying to make him look dirty. I'm not quite sure which one. Probably, I, if I had to guess, it would be blackface because this entire face is covered in makeup. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let's move on to another video. It is a movie trailer. I actually have two versions of a movie trailer for you to watch. The first one is the original trailer, and the movie is called Mrs. Doubtfire. Has anyone seen that movie before? No. No one. No one. Sounds to me. Okay, Nihan, have you seen that movie before? It's it's a uh, uh, a man who who dresses like a like a woman. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I, know. I know it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to watch the trailer and talk about what happens, and then I have another version of that of that movie in a different trailer, and um, it makes the movie look a lot different. So, but this is this is the real trailer. I'm putting it into the Google chat box. And um, when you're done watching it, you can just write, I'm done, in the chat box, and then I know that everybody is finished. So okay. go ahead and open that up and have a look at it, and then we'll all come back and talk about it when everyone's done. Okay? Okay. I'm done too. Okay, great. So, in this video, this is a trailer for a movie, and there are a few characters in it. Can someone name one character and describe them? Character, not actor and actress. Right, character. Mm. A man with a pain and devoted to his family, but uh, he's a little bit uh, grumpy, uh, and so, uh, he had some problems with uh, his wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a man... Uh, Robin the, Williams himself. Yeah, Robin Williams plays a man. He has problems with his wife. Um, and what uh, what kind of job does this man do before he becomes Mrs. Doubtfire? Did anyone catch that? Or I, 
I, I couldn't remember, but I think he was an actor or an yeah. Actor. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did voices. Yes. <laughs> He made he's, bases. <laughs> yeah, so he <laughs> is voices. what we call he's a voice actor. So um. that's a good job to have if you're going to pretend to be someone else. It's uh, very easy for him to to change his voice to make him sound like someone else. So that's um that's important for the plot of the movie for the story. So there's the man. He's a voice actor. He has a problem with his wife, um, and he has some kids. How many kids did he have? Three. Yep, three kids. He had three kids, and then he had a wife. And so we know he has a problem with his wife. Um, do you know what the term is if you have a problem with your husband or wife and you want to not be married anymore? What is the term we use for separate. that? Separate. Divorce. Yeah, separate. Divorced. Divorce. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So um, before, if you are thinking about maybe divorcing someone, maybe you separate from them first. So you're not actually divorced, you're still married, but you're not living together. So that's called separated. And then um, the more permanent one is um, divorce. Do you, uh, so, do you remember uh, if they are separated or divorced in the movie? In the, the movie? Time, uh, I watched it, uh, I, I couldn't remember. Okay. I think it, they were separated, but I don't know. In the movie, she, at the beginning of the movie, she tells her husband that she wants to have a divorce with him. She wants a divorce, but they have not completely divorced yet. They've, they've just started that process of being divorced, so they are separated in the movie. Okay. Yeah, but they, they are moving towards divorce. Okay, so... Um, because yeah. his wife uh, just started to date with another guy. Yeah. James Bond guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she uh, uh she I'm starts to guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think um that actor's name is Pierce Brosnan. Mm. Yeah. Brosnan. Yeah. yeah, and he played James Bond in another yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so so that causes a problem there too. The wife wants yeah. to divorce. The husband does do you think the husband wants to divorce also or is does he have a different opinion? Yeah, Isn't that obvious? <laughs> no, perhaps uh, because of the boys, uh, because of the children, but uh, he's sad. But I don't know if it's uh, because of his wife or, or his children. <laughs> yeah, well, he does something so that he can still be around his children. Yeah. So maybe, maybe it's more... Um, Maybe he's more motivated to, to spend time with his children. Yes. Yeah. So so he, he decides to make a plan to do something. And what does he do in order to to be with his family without them knowing that it's him? He made a character. He made himself into a character, into another person. And uh, can someone describe this this character that he turns into? He's able to um, to work as this character. Housekeeper. Housekeeper, yeah. What are some other words that we can use for housekeeper? Nanny. Nanny. A nanny is yeah. A nanny is um, a kind of a housekeeper. Sometimes they will they will cook and clean for a family. Mm -hmm. uh, the nanny's job is mostly to take care of children, which which this character does. Yeah. So housekeeper, nanny, a uh, maid is another word. A maid is someone that only cleans, usually. Sometimes a maid will, will also work like a nanny, but if you say, I'm a maid, then it, you, people think, okay, you clean. Mm -hmm. okay. So this, this person is um, also, uh, kind of both. They take care of the, the character that he comes up with, this woman that he dresses like is works as a nanny, takes care of the kids, but also cleans and does some cooking, so it's kind of like a maid or a cook. So it's a lot of little jobs in one job. And a shrink psychologist to all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's um, uh, well, I, I don't think we actually saw a psychologist in the trailer. Um, I think there might be one in the actual movie, but, but I don't really remember. But the wife 
Jeff was talking about his new uh, boyfriend, and he, she was complaining about him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the wife meets Pierce Brosnan. He meets. She meets a, a different man, and she's complaining about her husband. Her husband, her new boyfriend, and she was complaining about everything. Mm -hmm. And he was just listening and um, backing his uh, her around. I don't know. Just giving some advice. That's giving some advice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we we can call that uh, the the most professional way to call that is a psychologist. Um, and then the kind of a slang is shrink. <laughs> But, okay, so that is the original trailer for Mrs. Doubtfire. That it kind of shows um, the movie's a little bit funny, but it, it also is kind of emotional. It's a little bit dramatic. So it's like a comedy and a drama in one. And now uh, I'm going to show you a different movie that shows uh, the, younger, the younger child is cute. Yes, yeah. <laughs> she was. Cute. I think she was in a couple other movies too. But the younger, the younger boyfriend or the younger child? Child, of course. Ah, the little girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the younger one, when Pierce Brosnan uh, was younger... Was, no, no, he seems like arrogant, no. Was handsome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I asked him, yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, he, <laughs> he's uh, out of business, but... <laughs> But he's still good looking, I think. Nah. Yeah, he's nah. Older. yeah I think so. He seems, yes. he seems to be yes. your father or something. No, like you know, he's got no. more to yes. yes. You have to listen to the woman's voice. No, no, no. He, <laughs> he was, he was, he but. No. Nah, he's nah. still old. No, no. no. Still I don't think so. He, he's really <laughs> handsome. Attractive. If you go uh, with uh, Pierce Brosnan to a party, uh, all the people uh, think that uh, it's your father or your grandfather or your, I don't know, but your your old uncle. Or no. like you know that. why? Because I but think not I read, your boyfriend. <laughs> I read something about him. I think he had a, a daughter who had just passed away a few months ago. And uh, that's why perhaps he seems a little bit older for that. I mean, he's a little bit depressed or something. Something has happened to him. I think it was him because I read something about uh, I'm him. I've never heard. Hmm. But I think the most uh, handsome guy is always Robin Williams. Really, really cool. He's charismatic. Yeah, he's very funny. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, have you remember, remember the movie Good Morning Vietnam? Morning, I've never morning. seen that movie. Yeah, ah, oh, you have to. He said, "Good morning, Vietnam," and Robin Williams' voice is excellent. And I'm, uh, I'm not surprised that he, he was a voice actor uh, in that classic movie. Yeah, sometimes Robin Williams also does voices for cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he also does um, stand-up comedy too. Yeah, he's yeah, like a clown or something like that. Yeah, yeah, he's very funny. Um, I would always prefer uh, to Pierce uh, to uh, Williams. Williams is the best for me. You prefer Robin Williams? <laughs> Robin Williams, yeah. He, he is my first uh, three actor, uh, my favorite. He's one of your, your favorite actors, or maybe he's, he's uh, one of the top actors? Yes, for me. Yeah. Is he yes. British he's, or American? He's really I'm not talented. talented. Robin Williams is British. He's American. He's American. Oh, he's American. Yeah. Uh huh. But okay. you can get a a, a, a Pierce Brosnan picture uh, anyhow when yeah. you when you go with, with Robin. Why? Why you? Why you want, just want to ruin my dreams, Alberto? Albert. <laughs> he's handsome. End of the story. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you guys get to see a little bit more of Robin Williams and Pierce Brosnan in the next yes, yes, clip, yes. So the next video okay. we'll watch. Um, what this is, somebody took clips from the, the same movie, from Mrs. Doubtfire, and they turned them into a new trailer, but this trailer looks like it's not funny at all. It looks like a different kind of movie entirely. So we'll watch it, and then we'll talk about how it might be, how it looks different 
than the original Mrs. Doubtfire trailer that we watched. So okay. I'll put this link in the chat box. And just let me know when you're done. I'm done too. <laughs> okay. All right. So this one has a completely different feel. It, it, the mood of this video is a lot different than the first one that we watched. Uh, what are some things that are different about it? Whoever does this recut, uh, they're genius. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to do that. That's they. They really take all these little parts of it and they put it together, and it looks like a completely different kind of movie. Yeah, kind of horror movie or something missing. Yeah. <laughs> and the music uh, is really the music, important. <laughs> the music had changed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so it looks kind of like a horror movie or a scary movie. Yeah. Another word that we use for that is a thriller. Mm -hmm. So you, you go to, to get a thrill. You go to get really excited and, and really scared. It, it makes your adrenaline... The, the the chemicals that that make you excited it it, um, is it it makes you have an adrenaline rush adrenaline rush I, I was expecting uh, some of the little girls just singing tiny beanie tiny <laughs> <laughs> you know that the classic horror movies only uh, yeah. a ball just step down the downstairs and a little girl uh, singing something really scary. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times horror movies will use little children singing and it just makes it makes it really creepy. <laughs> That's a good word, creepy. Yeah, but in this one, um, it makes the the dad, it makes Robin Williams' character look different. It makes it makes his character seem like a different kind of person than in the first one. Obsessive one. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's uh, no sad that the uh, no, yeah, obsessive. Yeah, obsessive. Yeah, a psycho. <laughs> psycho, yeah. <laughs> what about the false teeth or or makeup or something? It yeah. does really, really seem scary. Yeah, that was yeah. a bit too. Yeah. Yeah, because in the real movie, when he's putting on the makeup and he's wearing um, he's he has a, it's called a body suit that makes him look like like his body looks like a woman's body. Uh, when he's doing all that in the real movie, it, it's very funny because he's talking about oh I'm a woman now, ha ha ha, and then in this crazy man who wants to dress up like that. In this second clip that we watched. Can we tell if he's the father of those children? No, we can't. No. No. I, didn't, to... I didn't see anybody call no. him dead. No, so so that that changes the way that that changes the story of the movie a That's lot. Right. If you don't know if he's the dad, That's right. it's like a, it's like an upset person with a family, perhaps when they want to kill someone. Yeah, I, I want to have figured out if. Exactly. Yeah. Never. Yeah. So, so in this one, you have no idea. You don't know if he's the dad or not. We think it could just be a crazy person who is obsessed with this family. Yeah. That maybe he wants to kill them. So we, you have, you have. Um, there's in this trailer, it shows nothing about him being a dad. Yes. And then that makes it much scarier. Yeah. He's sneaking the house. Maybe uh, you can just think uh, he lost his family and replaced him with the new family. He obsessed mm. with his family. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Anything else about this one, the second one? We we talked about how the music and um, and all the way that they they show the different parts of the movie and especially the order that can change the way that that the trailer looks. It can change what kind of movie it looks like. Anything else that's different about it? But in the one skin, um, he was just look uh, himself uh, without any makeup and uh, they opened the door and they uh, they pretend they all know the, uh, the man. Maybe uh, not really a father but uh, someone who uh, the family knows because they opened uh, the door and welcome to him uh, in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, in the trailer they open the door and uh, it looks like they know who he is. But uh, we also know that because in the beginning of that movie he's on the phone talking to the, the wife about how he wants to be a housekeeper for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's very interesting to me the way that both trailers start. Because the first one you see, oh, the husband and wife have a problem, and then we see that that Robin Williams is and spend time with everyone. But in the second one, you just only see the wife looking for a housekeeper. So there's you you don't know if there's a husband or not. Then you know maybe even um, at the end of the second movie, you see the family going out to eat, and Pierce Brosnan's character is with them. So you could think maybe that's the dad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, he was talking uh, the woman. Yeah, uh, the dinner. Yeah, with the dinner table with mm -hmm. his new boyfriend. It, it seems like a little bit creepy too. Yeah. Yeah. So there, um, there are other examples like that too of other trailers. Um, I believe I think um, Willy Wonka is another movie where they somebody took the trailer and they turned it into a, a horror trailer. So um, those are very interesting to watch because you can can really pick up on um, all the different cl clues with the music and the the order of the clips and that but it can make a completely different mood for the video. Um, I did have another video with Willy, part of Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, but we don't have time to watch it today. Um, if you want to watch it, you can watch it here. I'll give you the link. So that's a, that's another one we were going to watch and then just say what happens in it, but um, you can do that on your own. Maybe that's a good practice for you for that. 
Um, does anyone have any questions on anything that we talked uh, about today? I have a comment. It was really fun. Thank you for the class. Because uh, I have never saw, uh, seen uh, the second trailer. It was genius. <laughs> and we, 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 can, uh, we can do uh, that kind of classes uh, more. It's really sure. funny. Sure, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's always good Thank to you. make your English classes interesting. Absolutely. Yeah, if it, they're funny or interesting, it helps you remember things better too. Okay. Yeah. I I, I just I, I think I the class today was very interesting. Maybe okay, it was great. For me. Yes. So thank you for that. Okay, I'll make more like it. <laughs> thank you, Andrea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Um, doing, thank you. Doing another class at nine or at in this next hour. So okay. if you want to, you can um, help make a story with me. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. okay. In like two Bye. minutes. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Okay, see you. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.